بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته everyone <laughs> look at me doing it correctly now but speaking of doing things correctly I, de I decided I'm gonna do this last week of Ramadan correctly because it's the last week yeah I know it happens <laughs> but anyways let's watch this video that I'm finally reacting to because you guys I thought I didn't tell you, uh, those of you who, I'll put you on the screen right here, who requested this. I think it was two of you guys. I think it was actually two different people this time. Um, not one person begging me to make a video for like two weeks. I'm so sorry. I don't ever intend for that to happen. Oh, this is actually what I wouldn't, this is actually what I wanted to say about that. Um, yeah, I actually thought I watched this video, uh, who was a lot like mind blowing reaction. Like I genuinely, but as it would turn out, I'll put the, the picture up on the screen of, uh, the video I did watch with the same title here well similar title so you guys know like oh, i wasn't really keen on doing this because i was like maybe i'll do it at the end of ramadan like i said in my last video because i was thinking well i already watched this video but then it's just like well i don't really want to watch it again I'm like, it's an amazing video but it's like i don't want to like fake my reaction for you guys but then i just realized what i just realized is that this video is actually a little bit different it's it's gonna be a different explanation of who is allah assumingly so i assume so allahu alam let's get into it i'm sure you guys have seen it as well but like I said, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't something I watched like three times already. Because the other one, I watched a whole bunch of times. It wasn't just that I watched it one time. Like, I think I watched it at least twice. Let me not lie on God. Like, I watched it at least twice. All right. But tell you, no more talking. Um, yes, I'm doing okay, guys. And uh, hello to my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing this Uma. Let's create this nonprofit. Let's do all these things that I keep saying. Okay. And uh, without further ado, let's just get started. <laughs> يا نفس إن لم تظفري لا تجزعي الله is خالق الله is the creator الله is exhibiting his تخليق his قدرت around us all the time statistics of 1990 show 300,000 children are born every day normally a woman carries a child for nine months 300,000 born every day. So multiply 300,000 by 30 days by nine months. It will give us an idea of how many fetuses in how many women's wombs Allah at one time is creating. That is just insan. What about the she camels? What about the she horses? What about the wolves? What about the cheetah? What about the lions? What about the animals in the deserts? Animals in the jungle? What about leave the animals of the land? The fish in the sea outnumber the animals of the land. What about the multitudes of Allah's creation? That is the earth. First heaven, second heaven, third heaven, fourth heaven, fifth heaven, sixth heaven, seventh heaven. All this at one time Allah is creating. And not just creating, Allah is controlling. Allah is bari. At one time, Allah is exhibiting his sifat bari. What does bari mean? That zat and that being who creates without raw material. Who brings into existence from nothingness. Jawad, Wajid, Majid, Af'alu ma urid, Adabi kalam, wa atai kalam, Innama amri, Ida aradtu shay'an, An aqoola lahu, Kun fayakun, Allah says, I am Jawad, I am the most generous, I am Wajid, I am Majid, I do as I please, If I want to send azab, it is kalam, If I want to give, it is kalam, Allah says, Innama amri, My affair is such, When I intend anything, I say, Kun fayakun, B and it becomes Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma on this kun fayakun he says la takhda anna li makhluqin ala tam'in fa inna thalika mudhirrun anka biddeen wa starziqillaha mimma fi khaza'inihi fa inna ma hiya bayna al-kafi wa al-noon he says don't lower yourself don't lower yourself don't demean yourself by attaching any desire of your heart towards the makhluq of Allah Look in the treasures of Allah, turn towards your Allah, because His treasures are such, His Ata is such. One person asks, two people ask, a thousand people ask, a million people ask, all the insan on the surface of the earth at one time start asking in English, in French, in Arabic, in Italian, 
in the hundreds of different languages, in the thousands of different dialects, all at one time have to ask, La yatabarram, la yatabarram, bi ilhaida bil hajat. Allah says, I will never ever get tired of your asking. Four children at one time go to the mother, four children at one time and ask, all asking at one time, even the mother says, don't eat my head. Go away from here, stop troubling me now. La yatabarram bi ilhaida bil hajat. Yet your Allah is such, he never gets tired of your asking. Bi ilha, by your insisting from him, he never gets tired. And such, all at one time, in all the different languages, La yushghiluhu sam'un an sam, wa la yamna'uhu wa la yulhihi, qawlun an qawl, wa la yamna'uhu fadlun an fadl. Allah, by listening to one person, will not become inattentive of the next one. By listening to one person's speech, Allah will not become unaware of the other one. Allah will not get mixed up. Allah will not get confused. And Allah's ata is such, by giving one, it does not mean that what he has will get finished. Adabi kalam, atai kalam. It is kalam with Allah. Innama amruhu ida arada shay'an an yaqula lahu kun fayakun. Allah's affair is such that when Allah Taala decides anything, all Allah says is kun bi fayakun. It becomes amruhu bain al kafi wa noon. Fa innama hiya bain al kafi wa noon. Ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhu says. Forget kun fayakun. Kun kehne ki bhi zarurat nahi. Not even necessary to say kun also. Allah's affair is between the kaf and the noon. Allah's irada is wujud. Wa ma amruna illa kalamhi al-basari aw huwa aqrab. Allah says our affair is like the blinking of an eyelid. No, 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 no. Faster than the blinking of an eyelid. Faster than the blinking of an eyelid. Hundred times this dunya. Thousand times this dunya. Million times this dunya. Walillahi khaza'inu samawati wal ard. To Allah belongs the treasures of the heavens and the earth. Wa immin shayin illa indana khaza'inu. Every, the treasure of everything belongs to Allah alone. Since you guys want to stop talking about something. The treasure of everything belongs to Allah. Now this is something I was just thinking about. I'm gonna, well, this is gonna be the only time that I promise, but I just was thinking, you know, like we do all belong to a lot, like in time, like, you know, a baby dies or like you break up with someone, you know, something, you know, something tragic happens, like it's because like that person, like that human being, like they belong to God. It's like, I think about that all the time, like all the time, ta- all the time. It's like, oh my God, I'm owned by a lot. You're owned by a lot. Like we don't own each other like let me calm down like there's no like we're obviously here to experience feelings and closeness with one another like i mean just look at this quote here about how you know we're literally like made for each other or whatever (laughs) we don't act like it but yeah but uh, genuinely like ultimately we god owns us like we don't you know i can say we own you know yeah (laughs) we own each other we don't even belong to each other we belong to a lot alone so Hey, okay, I did. I did just want to say that because it's been weighing heavily on my mind with like these new developments in my life and stuff. Like, yeah, it's just crazy. Yeah. Everything belongs to Allah alone. Allah is Bari, that Zat, and that being who from nothingness brings things into existence. At one time, in the wombs of all the women of the world, and all the animals, and all the fishes, and all the countless creations of Allah, Allah is exhibiting His Takhleeq, Allah is exhibiting His Sifat Bari, Allah is exhibiting His Sifat Musawwir. What is Musawwir? The fashioner, the designer, that beautiful appearance. That complexion, that tinge of redness, that tinge of whiteness, that tinge of blueness in the eyes and greenness in the eyes and blonde hair and auburn hair and black hair, black hair. Huwaladi yusawwirukum fil arhami kaifa yasha. Allah is fashioning and designing on what? On a drop of water. On a drop of water, Allah is fashioning and designing without error in three layers of darkness. Three layers of darkness. Somewhere the sperm is swimming, somewhere fertilization has already taken place, somewhere an eye is being formed, somewhere an ear is being formed, somewhere a tooth is being formed, somewhere a finger is being formed, somewhere hands are being formed, somewhere feet are being formed, somewhere the lung, somewhere the kidney, somewhere the intestines. All this without error, that is insan. What about the animals, the horses, the donkeys, the camels, the cheetahs, the lions? In their stomachs also, eyes, ears, beaks. 
without error. It never happens that a dog gives birth to a cat or a cat gives birth to a dog. Allah doesn't forget anything. Allah doesn't make mistakes. Nothing is beyond the power of Allah. Ya Allah, this is why God said, I don't need anyone. Do not associate partners. Remember I mentioned a little footnote? I don't know. Not a lot of you guys watched that last video. I guess it was for the moment. I guess it was because I need to just stick to, to, to it. Uh, English. I just stick to requests. I actually need to learn Arabic, not English, but I probably do need to go back to English class at this point. No, but sorry if I'm still talking too fast, by the way, you guys. Um, it's kind of early. This is the earliest I usually do videos. I never usually do them earlier in the day. Cause you know, I'm usually praying and like cleaning and doing the, you know, human things, other <laughs> duties. Uh, but I just wanted to say like, this is why God like, this is like ultimately why he's like, remember I mentioned, I, I was like, do you guys want me, like, do you guys, do you guys want me to talk about it? Like, cause it, like, I was just thinking like, cause God was like, this is why they're not other gods. Like we would have tried to take what the other one had and you know, so I was like, that's crazy. And like, that's why he's adamant. There's only me I, and you only need me and I don't need y'all. So. And it's like, wow, you know, I knew that, but it's like, yeah, I can definitely see, especially with videos like these, I do love them. I do appreciate them. Like I said, I watched the other one like a thousand times. Okay, maybe not, <laughs> but I was going to watch it again. And, you know, I was like, nah, because I already watched it. But then this one, you guys mentioned this one, I realized it was different. I knew it could have been different because you specified Suleiman Katani is the one who recited this one. Yeah. I'm sure, pretty sure, like, he was on stage or something, and someone just, like, made this video clip with the beautiful visuals and stuff. But anyways, as I was saying, it's like, okay, there's only one God, obviously, but, like, this is, like, how we're trying to showcase God is, like, the whole reason why he's like, yeah, worship me because of this reason. Like, I am perfect. I don't need any help. I don't need anyone. And I, for that reason, am all knowledgeable and all powerful. And so... Uh, with that being said, you guys, I need to go. Um, I'm always late for something, even though I'm not going anywhere. I actually went to this cool Cambodian festival. Um, I'm going to show you guys some of the clips here. It was a lot of fun with my best friend. Um, finally got out of the house, had a little bit of a culture shock. Like, you know, it wasn't Islamic, but it was, you know, it was just different. And, I, you know, there were two other, like, temples and stuff. Like, if you guys want me to talk about that in my next video or... I guess when our Ramadan is over, I'll be happy to do that on what I think about, you know, all the cultures and religions and, you know, like I said, God said that he sent a messenger to every land, but I feel like they forgot, you know, I feel like they don't, they don't have the original scripture. Uh, like even like Buddha, you know, he probably had the original scripture, but it's lost now. That's why Islam came. You guys already know that. <laughs> That's why Islam came to clarify all of these things for us. But anyways, you guys, let me know what you want me to do for my next video. And I'm so sorry that I've been messing up and complaining about everything. I promise I'm going to do better. Okay. I swear. Like I said, I want to start a nonprofit at some point. And I want you guys to be a part of that with me. Inshallah, we can grow this channel. And thank you for subscribing if you haven't already please do if you don't mind support the channel whatever you know i just i'm so happy that you guys are even here dealing with me and my nonsense and i love you so much ah <laughs> i didn't run for rhymes must be true love you jazakallah <laughs> والقمر إذا تلاها